Hey guys, uh, Leif here from uh, ATEC Office Technology. Today I'd like to share with you how we can offer you uh, remote support in relation to you know, photocopier issues or uh, computer issues. So um, we will uh, normally use uh, TeamViewer and log in remotely if we need to assist you on your computer. Uh, if it's more a uh, problem with the photocopier or you want to learn how to do something or whatever needs your needs our assistance we can use uh, something called uh, FaceTime if you have an iPhone or an iPad uh, we will then uh, call you up remotely and assist that way and I'm going to show you that in a minute if you don't have an iPhone or an iOS device if you have a Samsung or something like that we will use Skype on your phone and uh, and call you up uh, that way so I'm just going to show you very quickly how this can work with a client so I'm going to call up Kate now from my phone and uh, help her to actually show her how to set up something on the Konek Minolta b so I'll just look up Kate, uh, Kate on my uh, uh, on my phone here in my contacts and I'm going to click the FaceTime symbol and ring her up and see if she's there uh, just wait for that. And, uh, hello. hello Kate, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. That's good. Um, just want to show you how you could, um, you had a question about how to uh, create a uh, user box. Yes. On the, uh, on the Konica Minolta b -Sub. So, if you could, um, if you could just turn your camera around and, uh, and go to the uh, the photocopier or the Konica machine and we can I'll just uh, tilt it like that as well so we can see yeah that's perfect I can see your screen and uh, to create a new user box you're gonna go into the if you press the utility button on the bottom right hand side and go into number uh, one one touch registration that's it you go into number two to create the user box and we can create click on number one public user box that's the one we want to create and we go new uh, this will if you click new on the bottom that'll create a new user box and we can give it a name so if you click on the user box name uh, that's it and just type in a name maybe uh, Kate so that could be your own uh, user box and click OK on that and there's just one last thing very important when you create new user boxes that's you notice at the top there's a page one out of two if you click on the forward button at the top there and we want to set that auto document delete time if you change that to save the button at the bottom yeah that's it because that will make sure that the documents don't get if you leave it at one day as the default was there, it will delete the all documents after one day and we don't want that. So now just hit OK on that. And uh, OK again, just keep hitting OK or close all the way out to the main screen, that's it. And if we go to the user box button, if you click on there, you can see, there we go. Now we got two, uh, you've just created a new user box. So that's how we do that. Uh, how was that, Kate? Was that uh, uh, nice and easy? Right. It's flipping around. Yeah. Okay. If you uh, flip your, uh, turn your uh, camera back on, or click on the camera uh, button. There uh -huh. we go. There now we I go. can see you. Yeah. Uh, okay. Great. Thank you. Problem solved. Thank you. Alright, so uh, that's how we can use uh, FaceTime or uh, our smartphones to uh, very quickly and uh, easily uh, fix, uh, fix up any issues we have remotely.